Warning, these are not I Smoke Hip Hop views. Also, copyright disclaimer, copyright Yo, fair use. You're on a podcast with Joe Button. You called him a woman beater for years. He, y'all put that aside and are doing a podcast. Like, really, fam? That's and, facts. And, and, that's facts. Hi. Hey, you, you, you went on Hi. the radio multiple times and accused someone of a crime. And y'all are doing a podcast, but you can't stand next to me for Colin Kaepernick's movement. And you're there. And you're only there because I was comfortable with Hell you being you there, guy. fam. Y'all are thinking about likes. You guys are talking about blog posts. Oh, Ebro probably trying to set you up. It was a bigger play. The bigger play is the community and children <laughs> making sure that they see black over. men, that they see black yeah. men coming together to do something positive. That's right. the bigger play. You fucking dummy. Well, thank you, Nessa. Make sure you subscribe to I Smoke Hip Hop Live and my Instagram channel. Come back for more. Hit that like button. Share this video. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Remember, salute the Instagram and support. All right, look, ladies and gentlemen, pond the internet's pond the podcasts. My name was brought up yesterday, and look, we talk greasy about uh, people at the other radio stations and Charlemagne and et cetera, et cetera. And Nessa hates when I say their names. Um, yeah. But <laughs> my issue is, I, I believe some of these people are dirt bags, straight up and down. Okay. They do good things. And we all, you know, we all come together at times to do the right thing at the right times. And uh, Nessa had. Uh, started alongside Colin Kaepernick, the Know Your Rights camp. And uh, we were at the Audubon Ballroom up in Harlem. Uh, shout to the whole Shabazz family and everybody that was there that day, the kids and everything. Nessa, you asked me at the time, was it okay for Charlemagne to come to the event? Yes? Yes. I wanted to make sure you were comfortable because, you know, I know that you two have had your personal differences. And obviously, I'm cool with Charlemagne. And the importance of having you both there was that you both have been very vocal and supportive of Colin and really supporting communities and kids and wanting, you know, everyone to feel empowered. And you were completely great with it. You were good with it. And now, and, and for the record, so. for the record, me and that dude don't have personal problems. Right. We don't have a personal yeah. relationship. It's radio. We talk greasy. We whatever. He talks greasy about people that work at hot. I talk greasy about people that work at there. It's not personal. Let's be clear. And okay, you know, I didn't like I didn't like him meeting with the with the blonde lady that was on the uh, internet talking about Black Lives Matter is the same as KKK, and then putting up a video where he was making a um uh, he said black all black dicks matter or black what did he say something about yeah all black dicks matter. Or something like that. Right. With, something. While you're being jolly with this white woman who clearly has uh, uh, negative things to say about people trying to do positive, negative things to say about Beyonce, and the list goes on. And I feel like that's playing into black stereotype. Like, you're making dick jokes, bro. Like, that's cooning to me. Right. Doesn't mean you're not talented. Doesn't mean I hate you or I, I have any personal issue with you. I think that's cooning. So we're at the event. I introduced myself to him and his security. Just there in the room, we're in the room. I think Cass One was there. Suck Scotty Beam was there. <laughs> Sorry, continue. And, you know, I walk over and introduce myself. Nessa, what did you ask me to do? I honestly, because everyone was in great spirits, everyone was conversing, kids wanted to take photos with you and they wanted to take photos with him. And they were so happy to see you two there that I asked you, hey, E, if it's okay, you know, when you guys converse and talk things out, I think it's important that you guys take a picture together for those who couldn't be there to see that you guys were able to come together, put differences to the side to show what really matters, and that's to, you know, empower kids, especially from all over the world, that it's bigger than just radio differences or whatnot. And you were okay with it. You said, no problem. And so when I found out that it was a weird situation. So I, I walked over I, to him, as you asked. So you did. Asked him, hey, I said, hey, Nessa would like us to take a photo together. He says, nah, I'm not taking a photo with you. I was like, yo, what's your problem? Like, we're here for the event. It's bigger than us. Like, let's do the photo. Nah, you called me a coon. I'm not taking a photo with you. We not cool. 
I was like, well, you were cooning. You do coon things. But if you don't, if you can't see above this back and forth and you can't see that this is bigger than us, then, you know, it is what it is. We went on to have dialogue about his disdain for Rosenberg, you know, uh, other things like Mr. C and him going at Mr. C, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And then I moved on and I let um, Nessa know, hey, he's not cool with it. Now, Nessa, did you have a conversation with him? I did. And I felt bad because I feel because everything was so positive that it was going to go in, you know, obviously the right direction. So I went to him and I told him, hey, that was all me. And I had talked to E about that. And that's the reason why he came up to you. And so to everybody's credit, I probably should have told him ahead of time because he probably was thrown off guard. And I feel bad for you, E, because you did do the right thing. You took the high road and you were really thinking about the bigger cause. And by the way, haven't brought this issue up on the air. Haven't talked about it. Right. Now you go on the podcast with Joe Button. You bring the story up. You don't even tell that part of the story, dude. Well, that, that's well, that why. Benefit the that's story. why. The point of the right, story, right? But that's why you're a piece of shit, bro. Well, that's yeah. why he's a piece of that's shit. A, and that's so you might not be into this Wait. part. But Are that's you, my Nessa, point. Nessa. That's my point. My point in all of this Wait. is that a lot of these characters, like a lot of these characters, think they're so important. You're not that. None of us are that important. Like, especially, and I know he talked about Rosenberg reaching out to come together over registering people to vote. And he wasn't cool with that. Because once again, you think you're that important. We have opportunities. We have microphones. We have platforms. We have the community listening. There are times when we got to put BS aside, like going back and forth about radio shows or differences of opinion about this and that or name calling. Like, whatever. Yo, fam, you're on a podcast with Joe Button. You called him a woman beater for years. He, y'all put that aside and are doing a podcast. Like, really, fam? That's and, facts. And, and, that's facts. Hi. Hey, Nessa. You, you, you went on the radio multiple times and accused someone of a crime. And y'all are doing a podcast, but you can't stand next to me for Colin Kaepernick's movement. And you're there and you're only there because I was comfortable with you being there, fam. I put all my itch aside because I don't care. It's stupid. The rate, the stuff we do on the radio is dumb. It's for fun. I make fun of you for fun. That's it. It's not that deep. Ebro, I would just like to offer that previous to when I reached out around the election time, he actually had done, he had come for my, he had really put me in a bad spot professionally. He had made up things about me personally. He had done a lot of negative things towards me. And when the election started getting scary, my thought was, oh, he's trying to do stuff with voting. So wouldn't it be cool if these two stations that typically don't get along did an event together to raise awareness for voter registration? And he openly admitted on the Button Podcast, he was like, nah, why? And it's like, I don't even like you, but let's do, It's I don't hate you enough that I don't want to support you to make sure Donald Trump doesn't become president. Like, what are we talking about? But, you know, you got, you could hear, that, that's what happened on the podcast. It's very clear how he feels. So I wanted to take the time. Nessa, thank you for your time. I just, I appreciate all the work you're doing and having me and, and inviting Colin and, and to the station and just making this one happy family for the community. So I want to salute you for that. I apologize that Ebro, I had to bring you into I'm this. Sorry. Ebro, I'm sorry for putting you in a bad position. I it, but, but here's the thing. I didn't even think that big a deal of it. It actually shows me how small minded people are. Because even on the Joe Button podcast, the little peanut gallery up there, little dudes sit around and snicker and back up Joe. Shout to Rory. I love you. Academics, we've emailed you. A good guy. Y'all are thinking about likes. You guys are talking about blog posts. Oh, Ebro probably trying to set you up. It was a bigger play. The bigger play is the community and children <laughs> making sure that they see black good. men, that they see black yeah. men coming together to do something positive. That's right. the bigger play. You fucking dummy. Well, thank you, Nessa. Wait, so, wait, Ebro, so does this mean you won't have... Um, a little gathering all together and 
talk things out or we still i'm sure that- ebro still would I don't, there is no hash out, guys. There's no personal problem. Well, have if we sat problem, down, right? I'm still going to be like, yo, fam, you was cooning when you were standing up there with Tommy Loren acting like it was all good. And but, I don't care people being like, oh, he was t- explaining to her. Yo, fuck her, man. Don't explain nothing to her. But Ebro, you would still come together for a call. Yes. That's the bottom line. Absolutely. Yeah. As would I. It's not about us, guys. We just have cool ass jobs. We do these jobs to help people get through the day, get some information, and feel good. That's what the job is for. It's not for you. Thanks, guys. I feel terrible, E. I put you in a bad don't. situation. No, don't. I told you these people are snakes and dirty and yeah, selfish. You- I told you that a long time ago. <laughs> We did. That is. I, the, look, that's see, the only thing. I feel if I talked to him first, it wouldn't have turned like that. Nessa, that what, was Nessa, me. what did he say to you after everything happened? Did you guys talk? I, I, no, no. Honestly, we didn't. I think it was more of a shock, and that's why I feel like this is bigger than what it really has to be. Had I had a conversation with him ahead of time, like. Hey, it would really mean a lot to us to show that you guys are putting differences to the side because sure. the kids are really so happy that you're here. So that's why, E, I understand because you have so much passion to help kids. I feel bad this went sideways, and I. It's not, think- Nessa, it's not sideways, Ma. He ju- This happened how long ago? It was, it, this is a very long time ago. Yeah, four, very, five, six very. months ago? Yeah. This is. And at he's least, bringing it up. Genius. He's bringing it up on a podcast now. Why? Well, to play you and make you sound like a groupie who wanted a picture with him. To try to play me once again to make himself for himself. Maybe he didn't believe it. He maybe look, and I'm not taking sides. Maybe we are at the believe. Autobahn Ballroom where Malcolm X was shot, Nessa, with children yeah. talking about their rights and police brutality. What's not to get? I mean, it is pretty basic, but I hear you, Nessa, and, and you're a you're a great person, not only for the work you do, but for, you know, trying to bring, you work with both of us, you work with him at MTV, you work here, so I appreciate the situation you're in, but you could appreciate our frustration when we've made multiple attempts to try to do the right thing, and instead of getting greeted with it, it's turned around and trying to play us publicly instead, and he's a genius at it because he didn't lie. Ebro did ask for a picture, so he didn't lie. He just didn't tell the truth, and that's the part that's annoying and I think messed up. Yeah. But we love you. That's what we love you. Because I don't want, I don't want you guys. There is no you guys. It's not. There's no escalation. There's no beef. The reason I'm doing this is only because it was brought up. I'm only doing this so the internet knows the truth. I keep trying to explain to people that these motherfuckers is bitches. Okay, and they no, act like snakes right. and they Let's, dirty. Okay, e, come on. E, nice and easy. Just, come on. Yo, it's dirty. Am I lying? Is it dirty or not? Make sure you guys support the uh, the platform. Like, share, and subscribe. Also, we got more great contents and daily up the uploaded videos. Go to I Smoke Hip Hop on Instagram at DJ underscore Bless One. You can find that again at DJ underscore Bless One. Also support the platform through Cash App and PayPal. Email me for any promotions and mail me anything at my P.O. Box. Subscribe, subscribe to I Smoke Hip Hop Live.